we're also talking about uh, military juntas who are now engaging with the European states and with France. And that's also, of course, changing the report between and the relations between um, France and the Europeans and, and the Sahelian uh, governments. Um, you were mentioning earlier about, um, about uh, France being the driving force in the Sahel, and you said the same thing, that there needs to be a distinction between the, the French intervention and the European interventions, but so far there hasn't been any other European state ready to step up and actually to sacrifice troops, because we should also remember that, that France has been willing to maintain and sustain a military operation for over nine years, which has cost uh, quite a lot of money and which has also meant a, a big sacrifice in, in troops killed. Um, so far, we haven't seen any willingness from any other European states to do the same. Uh, Delina, do you think that there is a possibility that, that other European states or the EU as an institution is willing to step in and, and take over that leading role, um, driving the, the further uh, relationship with the Sahelian states? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Nina. <sighs> I, suppose, I suppose the answer is no. At this moment, I think the answer is no, even if uh, France has left Mali and Mali has been defined a thousand times as the epicenter of all the violence. I mean, if violence isn't stemmed in Mali, it cannot be stopped anywhere else. We will just lower the, the threshold of violence, which is what current efforts in Niger are, are seeking to do. I mean, it's just maintaining it under a, under a certain threshold. So even if France has now left Mali and it, it has left uh, rather um, rather dramatically uh, following diplomatic tensions, uh, following a, a series of, of escalations on a number of fronts. Um, I don't see any willingness on the part of any European state and I don't see any willingness not just on the most risk-taking uh, activity, which is uh, security activity, going into the front lines accompanying uh, Nigerian, Malian, uh, Burkina Bay troops, but also from a from a development humanitarian political level, there doesn't and and I think this is the the core of of the problem for me. And I'm not suggesting. Uh, I think it would be quite hard to suggest uh, throwing in more more troops into the region. But I think the core of the problem is the way we distance ourselves from what is happening in the region. So even from a from a diplomatic point of view, I mean. Simply put, um, there was a, there was an event a couple of months ago in Niger, uh, in the north, in a fairly stable area, uh, which is the region of Agadez. Uh, I mean, there is some trafficking happening, but there is a level of banditism, criminality. But overall, um, there are no terrorist groups, for example, uh, in the north. So there was this event called a Cure Salé, where a number of uh, pastoralists uh, from all over the country gather and is a, is a huge festival, is a celebration, is, is a beautiful event. Um, European diplomats, uh, instead of showing up and staying for a couple of days in one of the most culturally significant um, events in the country, came for a few hours. I mean, it was come and go. And this kind of thing shows, it, it gives such a strong signal of our unwillingness to risk anything. I mean, it's, it's almost, I, I can almost define it laziness. There doesn't seem to be any desire to truly understand what is happening in the country. So you're asking for, I think you're asking for what has been asked during the past 20 years if for all types of interventions, a better understanding of what's happening on the ground and more um, local uh, understanding and, and, and a better idea of the local context more 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 broadly. Um, do you want to to yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yes, elaborate uh, on that, Sadiq? Uh, yes, uh, the leader point uh, very strong for me as a Sahelian. Something is very important. Uh, it's not very anecdotic when they come and they go. <laughs> People are looking like kind of. Uh, uh, the the strong is not support if they. They come with other officials. They stay for all the festival. It can kind of it's kind of signal. They give a signal. Uh, now thing is going better. You cannot put more money, enough money, and give a bad signal. For 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 Sahelian people, this is a bad signal. They cannot live with us. Uh, the risk is for us, and the no risk is for them. When they come, they go. This kind of uh, uh, attitude 
I think it uh, can block uh, feeling and it can affect the, the, the partnership. It is, it is very important for Sahelian. You know, before the Sahel crisis, there is a uh, uh, air. The, 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 there is company who is coming from Marseille to Agadez directly, without going to Paris, without going to Niamey directly. People are hope, are have the hope that one day we, we will return to this kind of uh, of situation. If we, we, we give support, you have to 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 uh, to come at the festival, to rest at the festival with other. It can give uh, hope mm -hmm. to the people of so the Sahelian area. It can be a kind of hope. Mm -hmm. They feel uh, now the situation is going better, and one day. Sahel will be normal as other country. Mm -hmm. And uh, can I just add something here um, on on um, on on what what is happening in Yemen? I mean, all of this just plays so much into what Ulf uh, was talking about earlier, and so this whole Russian presence that is very much worrying European policymakers. I mean, what is a way to counteract this mm -hmm. level of misinformation and conspiracy theories? Is presence mm -hmm. and and the things people are saying in Yemen, like in in, in, the, in the middle of Niger, about the European uh, civilian training mission, which is called Eucap Niger, um, they're saying we never see them. These people are here; they have a huge base, mm -hmm. and they're never in town. Who are these people? What are they doing in our country? I mean, this plays so well into the hands of those that want to um, to build ideas around how Europeans and French. Uh, people are in the Sahel just uh, steal resources and in this new neo-colonial fashion and it's not helping anyone.